Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I want to hurry and thank everyone that has recently subscribed to the channel. I appreciate your support with that. But I also want to thank those that have been subscribers for a while. I appreciate your continuing support and hopefully you haven't found the channel too boring yet. As you can see, we're back down here in the layout room and going to start up the next project on the layout. You can see the Merchants Road 2 kit that I built and that corner area that I was showing in the video building that, that I'll link in the card above. However, as I'm not 100% sure on the layout of the buildings over there yet, I want to take a pause over there, make sure that I'm happy with it over next couple of weeks or even months, and then if I'm happy, I'll get back to there. But the piece that I'm going to be working on in the vacation time that I have coming up is this mountain here. <clears throat> in the earlier update video, I think it was in March or April, I went into detail on what I was going to do with this. But as a quick overview, I'm this is going to be the mountain and mine that feeds the mine building there. The plan is that I'll carve out a shaft, a vertical shaft and some horizontal shafts and make it look like a coal mine. I do want to bring it up a little bit higher. It'll probably be another four or five inches or so, you know, to the top of my hand. I ended up, I did have a few scrap pieces put up on top to that I thought I'd use, but as I got looking at it, it didn't really meet well. And I also need to carve off some of the edge over here as I didn't want a straight cliff on the side of the mine building. So I ended up buying some more foam for that. As I was looking through my <clears throat> box of scenery stuff that I've actually had for a while that my dad bought years ago, there was um, two bags of plaster cloth in it. So my plan is that <clears throat> I will be using plaster cloth on the unseen side of the mountain. You'll still be able to see it, you know, given if you look on the side of it or not. So I want to still make it look good. But that's the plan. I think I'll have to go layer by layer with the carving out of the vertical shafts and, well, not the vertical shafts, but the horizontal shafts, just mainly so that I can add the LEDs into them and, you know, have it be relatively easy. <clears throat> so I'm gonna start working on that. All right, it is the first day of my vacation. And as you can see, I've done some of the prep work already for the mine. I went through and added the additional layers that I wanted to add to it. I did carve off on the side more for a gentler slope and not just a cliff face like I wanted. And then I've gone through and marked where I want to have the horizontal and vertical shafts. I did end up borrowing a router and I'm going to be using that to carve out the shafts and the cuts. The reason for that is, as you can see there, I pulled out a end scale figure and placed it up along the side and realized that if I cut out the entire portion of the foam, it would be just a hair too tall for what I wanted it to look like. And ended up marking with a marker where I was going to wanted the last or the roof of the tunnel to be at and decided that a router would be a lot easier to carve into the foam, leave pillars in there for stability that would be rock that I want. And so that is in the works and we'll be working on that in just a little bit. But before I get to there, there is one other thing I need to do. And that is getting, as you can see, I 
have my shipment of sculpt mold in that I ordered and I need to add along the back there with the backdrop and get that in and at least drying so that I can get it painted in the next couple of days and while I'm working on the mine itself. That way I can have the back stuff done and I won't be reaching over the mine trying to get that scenery done. So I'm going to get the sculpt mold mixed up and get that laid and then we'll start working on the mine and the tunnels themselves and we'll be back in just a bit. I got all of the sculpt mold put in behind the track along the bottom. Also as I was putting it in I did end up accidentally getting some up on the backdrop. So I went through and repainted and touched up to hide that again. Also I'll just show one spot of it. Back behind there with that mountain as well in the corner I'd gotten paint up alongside of the backdrop and some sculpt mold as well. And so I went ahead and fixed that and got some of the backdrop painted a little bit better with some clouds. Okay back to some of the prep work for the mine. I got the sculpt mold painted back there so that it is a tan color. And then I also realized that it would be a good chance to get at least some of this track ballasted back here where I wouldn't be able to reach again. So I hurried and did that. And right there where you can see the masking tape, I had a little bit of a hole and just taped it over since pretty much just taped this entire seam just for safety's sake. And then I do want to play around with the plaster cloth a little bit. So to do that and that way I get a little familiar with it. I took some of the scrap foam pieces that I have and just kind of placed them in here and there wherever I thought would look kind of neat. So those are in place there and I'm going to start doing the plaster on them. I probably won't film it but I will show what I've accomplished after it's done. So I'm going to get started with that and be back in a bit. Okay, I've finished getting the plaster cloth onto these foam blocks. Sorry for the shaky, it is just free cammed for now. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. It's pretty impressed, easy to use. This is kind of the scene that you'll see if you're at eye level with the bench work. But as I said, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it'll look good, give it just enough of a block to break up the monotony, but at the same time not overwhelm anything. So we will leave it at that and then get back to working on the mine and we'll see everyone in a bit. I ended up putting a fan onto the layout blowing towards the plaster cloth and it ended up drying it pretty quick within just a couple of hours. And I didn't think that I was going to be able to do anything else tonight, but it turned out that I was able to. The other added benefit, benefit of the fan is that the ballast is dry and glued in so that it's ready to go. I know I should have waited and done the ballast after the sculpt the mold since you know it looks a little weird as it is right now, but a, a little bead of ballast will hide that and work out just fine. The other thing I did was put in this grade crossing. I'd wanted to put one in but I wasn't sure how I was going to do it and ended up with a little bit extra of a last batch that I made of sculpt mold and so just made it with that. So it's done and ready to go as well. 
once it's dry, I'll go in and clean out the flanges, the flange ways, and get the switch cleaned up and the track cleaned up from it. But overall, I'm happy with how it's looking. I'm going to throw the fan back onto it, and hopefully that'll get it dry enough that come tomorrow I can put some paint on it and get some bushes and greenery put on it here and there and back along the back edge of the backdrop. And then that way I can solely focus on the mine and getting it done. So with that, I'll leave it here and we'll be back 